Hello friends, welcome back to Simply Clouded. In the last session, I had shown you how to push a Docker image to an Elastic Container Repository, which is the ECR service in AWS. Today, we will learn how to create a task definition on Fargate using that ECR image. Now, what is a task definition? Task definition is the basic launch configuration for each and every container in an ECS cluster. So it's a set of configurations and settings along with your ECR image that will together form a container which will ultimately run your application in a cluster or in a standalone container setup. More videos to come later on on how to run the application. For now, let's learn how to create a task definition based on Fargate. For those of you who do not know, Fargate is the serverless solution from AWS for containerized applications, which simply means that you don't have to care about choosing the right instance size because Fargate will take care of the scaling and the running of the application for you. The only prerequisite that you have is that you need an image in the ECR repository it could be a private image or a public image. You just need an image with a URI. You can follow my last lecture to learn how to push an image in an ECR repository. If we go to ECS and we go to task definition, if we navigate here, you'll see a button which, which will say create new task definition. Let's take a look at the different options we have while creating a task definition. If you create a new task definition, it will first ask you if, if you want it to be a Fargate based application or any other. Since we're doing Fargate and we don't want to care about what kind of EC2 we choose, we'll go with Fargate. We'll go with next. And the first thing we'll do is we'll give it the task definition name. I will give it Jenkins. The second thing is what is the compatibility? It's Fargate. Now, every task in an elastic container service is a container or is a container having at the back end. So we need to give it a task role, which will certainly have certain kinds of access. We do not have a role right now. I will go and I'll create a role and come back to you with it. I was able to create a role by giving it full ECS access capabilities. You can always choose a specific use case where you only give it the task based access. If I refresh this here, now I will have an ECS task role available. You have a network mode, which can be AWS VPC only when it's Fargate. So in Fargate, you can only use the AWS VPC network mode. With EC2, you also have the bridge mode capability available, but we are sticking to AWS VPC. We have already given it the uh, relevant permissions. Now every task needs certain memory and CPU will give it the absolute minimum just to see if it will run or not. So a task definition will have an umbrella configuration and then it'll have a container specific configuration. So we want to choose in one task definition, how many containers and with different images that we want. So we'll just add one container with the repository image that we already have. So we will click on add container. Container name, Jenkins, container. Here, now this is the key part that we go to our ECR repository, we'll go to this image and we will copy the image URI and we'll come back and we'll paste it here. This is how we pass a container in a task definition, an image which is stored in ECR repository. We can set soft limit and hard limits for our container a soft limit can be pushed to the hard limit, but a hard limit is the maximum amount of memory it can have. You can enable private uh, repository authentication or you can disable it. You can go with port mapping since Jenkins runs on port 8080. I will just add the port mapping as port 8080 here. You can have some advanced configurations. We're just gonna skip all of that and we're just gonna add this container to this task definition. Notice that the task definition has one container now and you can add multiple containers. We'll not add a volume, maybe we'll do this in a separate video, but a volume 
is basically added to a Docker container to make the Docker container persistent. So right now, the task definition that we are creating is not persistent, which means every time a container is restarted, it will be launched straight from the image. It will lose all its data, which was generated while the container was running. So we will now create our task definition. Now, the important thing to learn about task definitions is that you can not delete a task definition or edit a task definition. You can only create a revision. So suppose if I wanted to change the name or some kind of a configuration setting, I will just change the name here and it will create a new revision. Uh, more on the revisions and more on why we use revisions when we actually launch an ECS cluster with this task definition. But for now, create your own task definitions and meet me in the next video where we will actually run this application using this task definition. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more such videos at Simply Clouded. To subscribe our channel, please hit the bell icon at the bottom.